with the budget that we received, we, we were on target. Um, we are handed up um, over 200. We will be handing up close to 220 units in January, uh, which would cover the two years. Um, what are the concerns we have had? Um, well, cost of materials has increased since we started the project by, and it's not Belize, it's worldwide, but we have seen at an increase of 25% in, in the cost of materials itself. We have had to increase the, the cost of labor a bit because the contractors were complaining that it was a bit tight. Um, we put out the, the houses to tender, and we advertise it in the newspaper, and up to today, I think we did it about five times, up to today, nobody has been able to give us a price less expensive than what we are building for. We have compared the cost per square foot to the prefabricated Mennonite homes, and we are less expensive than they are. Um, but what has increased costs, as you are aware, every time we build a house, the cost of us reaching the house and filling the land is more than the house itself. And some people might say, why are you spending so much money accessing just one house? But our responsibility is um, dealing with um, all the roadways in the country, um, except the municipalities. And so this to us is a start. If we do all of this infrastructure to reach this house, then in six months time, I can guarantee you that you will have more houses along the way. And that's how you build a country. That's how the infrastructure grows. And so our only limitation in all honesty is budget. Um, this we just handed in a proposed budget for next year, and we are asking for 10 million for this year. Um, I cross my fingers. I am asking all my area reps to lobby. Um, we have done that in the past, and it hasn't been fruitful. So we are hoping this time that that there is a possibility of an increase in budget. If that's the case, then we could duplicate and um, what we are doing.